Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. In this video, we're gonna go over selecting inside of the edit mode in Blender 2.8 beta. Ready? Let's go. Now, two things to discuss before we begin, really quickly. Leave select with left enabled on the splash screen. And if you haven't seen my video on selecting yet, I'm linking it here in the corner. I suggest watching it before we carry on with this one. Okay, but if you've seen that already or you're familiar with selecting in Blender 2.8, let's go. First thing I wanna discuss here is getting into the edit mode. We're now in this layout workspace, okay? We can simply hit the modeling workspace and go into edit, or from layout, we can just hit tab. And that brings us into edit mode right from here. All right, so I'll just go into the modeling area. And if you don't see it in modeling, just hit tab once or twice and you'll see this show up. And everything is lit up like a Christmas tree here, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is show you selection modes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna deselect everything here by hitting A twice. Then I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna show you these little select icons. Okay, we have three of these. The first one is vertex select, the second one is edge select, and the third one is face select. So vertex select lets us go in and select vertices. Okay, you can click on one, you can hold down shift and click on a couple, you can click and drag, okay? The second one is edge select, where you can go and select edges. Okay, here I'm selecting my edges. And the third is face select or polygon select, where I'm just going in and selecting my polygons. And you can do multiple or you can do one at a time or hold down shift and select a few wherever you want, okay? And the keyboard shortcuts for these are vertex is one, edge is two, and face is three on the keyboard. You can also select multiples at once by holding down shift and just clicking on these different icons and you will select multiple ones at the same time. So see I'm selecting vertices, edges, and polygons at the same time. And you can also, if you just click back on one of these, it deselects the others and you're back in normal selection mode. Similarly, you can also hold down shift, hit one, two, and three, or shift, three, two, one, and you can just select them that way, okay? Number two, selecting through the objects. So here, if we're selecting this, you see I'm just selecting parts that I want, okay? Things that I see. So if I go to face and I select over here and I do this, I'm only selecting that one side, okay? If I wanna select more than one, I can go up here to this little show whole scene transparent button, click it once, and now I get this transparent or semi-transparent view and I can select through the whole object. See that? So if I want, I can select a few of these at one time and then I'm selecting through the object. And if that's on by default and that's driving you crazy, you simply go up here, turn that off, it's solid again, and now you're back in just being able to select only what you see, okay? Number three, edge loop select. To select an edge loop means you're just selecting a group of connected faces or a group of connected edges. So I'm gonna make sure I'm on edge select here to show you this. And if I hold down alt on the keyboard and I click on any one of these, okay, vertical goes vertical and you see it goes to here and it stops because this is where it stops. It's not connected to this other side, okay? Here, I hold down Alt and it goes all the way around the equator, the perimeter, the circumference. See that? Okay, and it works on faces and it works on vertices as well. Okay, so vertices here, I hold down Alt and I select and I select vertices or I go to faces, hold down Alt and I'm getting different faces and, and face loops, edge loops, faces, okay? Number four, selecting multiple edge loops. So if I want multiple edge loops selected, I hold down Alt, I select one, then I hold down Shift while I'm holding down Alt and select multiple. Okay, and you can select by just doing that, just clicking while you're holding down Alt and Shift and you can select multiple. And to deselect, you just click on, click on it again and it deselects. So all I'm doing here is just clicking on ones that I already had selected while still holding down Alt and Shift, 
and it's deselecting, okay? Number five, selecting edge rings. Edge rings are another way of selecting where you're not selecting a bunch of polygons in a line here or edges in a line, you are selecting a whole row. So if I go, if I just hold down Control and Alt, all right, I'm gonna deselect everything here. Control and Alt, I now get a ring of these. Okay, Control, Alt, I get a ring going around. See that? That's the difference between an edge loop and an edge ring. This is an edge ring. Edge loop was an actual connected loop that forms a loop. And number six, just like selecting multiple edge loops, we can select multiple edge rings by just adding shift into the mix. So we're holding down Control, Alt, and Shift, and I'm selecting multiple. And you can deselect also by just clicking on ones that you've already clicked on. So here I'm selecting multiple vertical, multiple horizontal. And then I click again and I deselect those. See that? Number seven, closed loop poly select. So control and shift, if I deselect everything, control and shift allows me to go in and select kind of closed loop poly select. So it finds ones that are connected and kind of keeps it going. Number eight, invert selection. So if I have just one polygon selected here and I hit control I on the keyboard, it inverts the selection. Control I inverts the selection. So however many things you have selected, if you want the opposite selected, okay, you just hit control I, it selects the opposite. Control I selects the opposite. Yeah, it just inverts. Number nine, grow selection. So if I have a, one polygon selected and I wanna grow out that selection, I can hit control and plus on the number pad on the keyboard and it grows the selection. See that? And I can grow it all the way out, just keep hitting it, hitting it, hitting it until I get the whole thing selected. And number 10 is the direct opposite of that. So I hold down control and hit the minus key on the keyboard, on the number pad on the keyboard and it shrinks the selection. Now, honestly, I'm probably gonna remap these myself because I'm doing this like finger acrobatic thing here and it's really painful and like they're so far away from each other on the keyboard that I'm probably gonna end up remapping these to something that's not used. But that's where they are right now. That's where they exist. So if you wanna do that, control number pad plus grows, control number pad minus shrinks the selection. And number 11. The shortest path. So let's say I'm on vertex and I select one of these vertices and I select something else and I want to find out the shortest path between those. I can now just hold down control and click on another and it kind of finds me a shortest path to that object. So with that, hope you got something, hope you learned something. Those are ones that really work for me. Hopefully they'll work for you. Hit like, subscribe. If you really like this, hit those little bell notifications and you'll keep seeing when I get more of these videos pumped out for you. And go play and have fun. See you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.